Hi, welcome back to Super Trick Garage. Today we're gonna to go over transmission controllers and which one suits you best. In front of us we have three different options, the Max ECU, the CAN TCU, and the Turbo Lamic. The Max ECU and the CAN TCU can do DCT and 8HP transmissions. The Turbo Lamic can do 8HP transmissions. The Max ECU has the capability to control the engine and the transmission at the same time. So if you don't have engine management yet and you wanna get your entire engine and transmission control in one place, the Max ECU is the right choice for you. If you already have a really good running car and and you want to add a modern transmission to it, let's say you have like a, a, a whether it's an LS swap or a 2J or even an OEM car that you need a stronger transmission for, you can integrate the CAN TCU or the Turbo Lamb. Either of these are gonna be essentially listening to the engine data and controlling the transmission that way. This is gonna be obviously listening to the engine data because it is the engine data and controlling the transmission that way. As far as capabilities go, the CAN TCU can control all BMW DCT transmissions and most 8HP transmissions. The control for the CAN TCU is essentially like OEM. The CAN TCU mimics the environment the transmission was originally in, meaning the car that the transmission was originally in, so that it functions like OEM. You can do performance flashes on some of the transmissions, which can uh, increase shift speeds and take advantage of the modern transmission. The CAN TCU will output cut and blip signals so that your ECU can know when to do these functions. Cut and blip is mandatory for CAN TCU. It is very important to keep the transmission happy and without cut and blip, even though it is possible to run without it, you often will make the transmission go into limp or other things like that. For the best success with all of these controllers, always use an electronic throttle body with a modern engine control that can cut and blip. The Turbo Lamic is a full, st fully standalone transmission controller, meaning it isn't, it isn't talking to the internal transmission controller inside the transmission that came with the transmission. You're gonna bypass that using this PCB, cutting the mechatronics open and installing it, and then it's going to do all the calculations and all of the control from this box. With that, you get some cool features like virtual clutch and trans brake, meaning you can slip the clutch and dump the clutch and do trans brake launches, which is very cool because you're not limited by the OEM functions. The CAN TCU, for example, it basically mimics the OEM environment, so you're limited by OEM functions. The Turbo Lamic is a little bit more freestyle, I'd say, meaning you can do things that otherwise the OEM could not. The, o the Turbo Lamics come with their um, own harness. You have the analog version or the CAN version. We always suggest using the CAN version because if you're using a CAN version, it means you're using a modern ECU, which is capable of cuts and blips. It always is important for the best results to use something that can do cuts and blips. Can you run the Turbo Lamic without that? Yes. Do we recommend it? No. To take advantage of how fast a modern transmission can shift, cuts and blips are very important. The CAN TCU is very interesting because it can control the DCT, which the Turbo Lamic cannot, and the 8HP transmissions. It also comes with kits to fully integrate into cars that have 6HP transmissions, as does the Turbo Lamic. What this allows you to do is remove a 6HP, which is often too weak for an upgraded engine in a 335i or any car with a 6HP, and allow you to install 8HP transmission. The 8HP on our things shifts very quickly, but it's also very strong from the factory. Now the CAN TCU is gonna emulate the, all these transmissions original ecosystem, so that the, the transmission still thinks it's in the original place. Why would you want that? There's no tuning really, because the factory tune is still on the transmission. So if you wanna upgrade the tune with like, let's say an XHP, like as you would in like an original car, you can tune the transmission that way. And that's essentially a flash on the original transmission controller. As far as with the CAN TCU and how it functions, it's essentially mimicking the original environment the transmission was in so that it can function like it was original. So let's say you have an F80 DCT. If you put it in your car, that F80 DCT is still gonna think it's in an F80 and you're just mimicking the environment and altering the environment to essentially tune it a little bit and also keep it happy and not throw any codes. Let's say you have a 8HP from a N55 car and you want to put it in your N54 car. So what you're going to do is use a CAN TCU. You can also upgrade the flashing. You can also upgrade the transmission's tune by flashing it. Things like XHP, which help it shift faster. XHP has a, there's a number of certain tunes that are built into the CAN TCU software, as well as external softwares that are available separately, like XHP, which allows you to tune the transmission. A lot of times these aren't even needed because we can alter the environment in ways to make the transmission act how you would like using the CAN TCU software. Because what the CAN TCU is doing is inter interpreting your torque and then telling the transmission how much torque it has. So if you set if you're making a ton of torque or you want it to shift faster, you can you can essentially tell the transmission you're making more torque than you actually are. And what this is going to do is increase the pressures in the transmission and help it shift faster.
The KNTCU is essentially one of the most simple options and it works very well. Now over here is the Max ECU. The Max ECU is one of the best options if you don't have engine management yet. They can control the DCT, both E and F series, and 8HP, though they focus on the 8HP. 8HP works the best with this. Now they have their own flash for the 8HPs, meaning you flash the transmission and the original transmission controller with their custom flash, which is a Dodge Base flash, so that you can unlock features like trans brake and virtual clutch. You can run a Max ECU as a standalone transmission controller, though they don't support that and it's not recommended. Now, let's say you have an LS swap. They have some amazing harnesses, like this is a Max ECU harness they provide, and you can integrate their transmission harness as well into the system for a very clean install and honestly a good value. So if you don't have an ECU yet and you don't want to buy an ECU and a transmission controller, the Max ECU kind of fills that void by doing more than one thing. So you can get a lot of value out of that as well as some really high-end harnesses. They have harnesses for LS, JZ, and M50, as well as Volvo stuff, but we don't do much Volvo stuff. Another cool thing about this is it can connect your laptop via Bluetooth, so you can tune without any wires, which is pretty cool. The shifters that are compatible with the Max ECU are any kind of physical digital input, which is like a paddle shifter or a sequential shifter, as well as a Dodge original factory center shifter or a BMW center shifter. All of these transmission controllers can use original shifters from BMW and Dodge. And they're all CAN based, so as long as you put it on the CAN bus, these, these transmission controllers can pick it up. Shifters like paddle shifters, sequential shifters, which are all sw round switches, again, can be used with all of these transmission controllers. Because all these transmission controllers are CAN based, most digital displays showing gear and other engine data, well, it, they're all compatible. Here's my recommendation. If you have a car that you don't have an engine controller for yet, get the Max ECU. It's going to kill a couple birds with one stone, and it's a really high quality product for the money. If you have a car that's a daily driver or a basic race car that you just want to install something simply and go ripping, the CAN TC is for you. It's also very compatible with a lot of OEM ECUs. If you have a car that you're drifting or drag racing, let's say you're, a, you're an LS swap guy with a Holly, the Turbo Land is going to be for you because you get to unlock the features like trans brake. Let's go over that one more time. If you have a car that has uh, already has an ECU, like a Holly, and you need trans brake and you want to go drag racing or you want to go drifting and you want to, you want to make the most of those features like virtual clutch, the Turbo Land is for you. Now, the Turbo Land can be used in all these racing environments, but also it has eight different modes so that it can be used on the street or the track. It can drive very smoothly and it can drive very aggressively. And all these things are tunable because the the TCU is completely standalone, meaning it is controlling every aspect of the transmission, so you can tune every aspect of the tune. Unlike the CAN TCU, which are limited to the original tune on the transmission, or a flashable tune on the transmission. So the Turbo Lamic, you have more tuning capability because you can adjust literally anything, like let's say a standalone ECU for an engine versus a OEM ECU for an engine that has limited flashing capabilities. The Turbo Lamic is going to have the full control over the transmission. The CAN TCU is essentially going to be a emulate emulator for the original transmission so that it thinks it's still in the factory car and it's going to operate that way. The CAN TCU is a great option if you don't need things like trans brake or virtual clutch and you want a very simple harness. As seen here, the harness is extremely simple. It comes with an OBD for flashing if you want to connect a aftermarket flasher and make edits to the transmission. And also comes with a couple pigtails for adding accessories. The Max ECU is going to be your best option if you don't yet have engine control. The engine control portion, of course, and the transmission control portion is all in one. Every single Max ECU can control the transmission. There's no limit. It's all CAN based. There's no, you don't need to buy a certain level Max ECU to control the transmission. We always suggest using the Max ECU race for most applications and it's what we use in our own car. The CAN TCU we use with our own cars using Link ECU and the Turbo Lamic we also use in our own cars using Link ECU and Holly. Now those are just how we use these transmission controllers but there's plenty of different ways and if you have any questions about these things feel free to go to our transmission controller general information page and there's a form at the bottom that you can fill out to help us help you decide what transmission controller is best for you.